In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a logo using the golden ratio. So let's get started. So our golden ratio is 1.618, and I'm just going to show you how it's constructed. So if I use my rectangle tool, and I'm going to make a random rectangle, and I want to make sure that that has no fill, and it has a thin stroke, so let's say a quarter point, and now I want to make sure that's a true golden ratio rectangle. So up in here in my measurements, I'm going to unlock the ratio. And I'm going to make that 100 by 161.8. That will give us a perfect golden ratio rectangle. Now I'm going to hold down my Alt key and make a copy of that. And just to show you how it's constructed, if I take my rectangle tool and go from my top corner, it tells me my anchor, I'm going to hold on shift key to make a perfect square and I'm going to fill that in here. So the unique quality of the golden rectangle is that if you do this, what's left down here is actually another golden rectangle. So if I take my existing golden rectangle, I'm going to rotate that and place it in this same spot here. Hold on my shift key to keep the proportions as I scale it in. See, it fits perfectly into that space. So I can continue that with my shapes. I'm going to make another rectangle by holding on my alt key. And again, restraining proportions, I'm going to fill that space here. I'm going to repeat that a couple more times to create my design. And this is something that you can create yourself if you're creating graphic designs, uh, that you can use the, the proportions over and over again of the golden ratio. So I'm going to do that a couple more times. And, oops, and one more copy. In here and again the strain proportions and get that in here. All right, so now you can see that it keeps going that way and it's, uh, it would go on infinity like that. Now I'm actually going to work with circles, so I'm going to switch to my circle tool and I'm going to start from the corner up here. And if I hold on my Alt key, I actually start my circle from here. And if I hold on my Shift key, I get a perfect circle. So I'm going to fill that in here and I'm going to start from that corner. Actually, I'm going to start from this corner. It looks prettier if I start from this corner and I do that circle this way. Then I'm going to start from this corner and start that circle this way. I'm going to keep doing that. And each from each uh, corner, I'm going to start doing that. And you can see how they sort of fit inside each other. And you can build a, a spiral that way too. Okay, I'm going to do one more and fill that one. Okay, all right. So now I have a set of circles. I'm going to move these over here. And the cool thing about these is again, you can see how the golden ratio would work by bringing these over. And you can see how they complement each other to fill the, the shapes in. Okay and so on okay so again you can see how that ratio fits together in our golden ratio and now another neat effect is if i take this circle here and i'm going to actually take all of these together i'm going to align them um, both ways so they're actually a circle like this if i take my inner circle here or this circle and i multiply it I'm going to go times. I'm going to make sure that the ratio is locked now. And I'm going to go times 1.618 and hit enter. You can see that this now is actually the same size as this one. Right? Um, so that is our, our golden golden ratio. I'm well, not quite, so I must have been a little bit sloppy. Uh, but let's try it with the next larger one. Times times 1.618. There we go, and we'll bring that one over here. This one matches that one exactly. So you can see how the golden ratio sort of builds up. Now, um, uh, what I did is I made a sketch of a dolphin that I'm going to use for a logo, and I also made a set of golden ratio circles. Now, the dolphin itself, right now, I can move them around. So I don't want that. I'm going to go Object. I'm going to go Lock Selection so that I, I can't move him. Now I'm going to use all of these circles to build the shape of the dolphin. So, um, and I, because I want to be able to use the circles more than once, I always hold on my Alt key as I drag them. So I'm going to 
take the shapes and I'm going to try to match the shape that I have here with the, the shape that I'm trying to trace. So I'm trying to see what shapes that I made sort of follow that along. So let's see if I, and I'll do the same thing for fins and all the different parts of my dolphin. So let's see what I can do here. Um, so I'm going to do the fin and you want to make sure that these points touch up in here because if they don't touch, you end up with a little bit of a problem later. So, and I'm going to do the same thing with our different parts here. I'm going to do the inside of the fin. Um, take that part and take this fin here as well. Do the same kind of thing. Okay, and you can see how the same circle works on that that fin to make that shape um, actually come together nicely. I'm going to follow, get the overall, the upper body of um, of the dolphin here, and I'm going to get the inside shape here as well, like, like that, and we also, oops, so and if it gets confusing because there's too many circles, you can also do this in steps. Um, I prefer to do it this way, I can follow the shapes along, and I'm going to take this guy here, um, so at this point I'm going to start getting confused if I don't do something about this. Um, you're probably already confused looking at this right now. So now I'm going to show you where the magic happens. I'm going to select all of these shapes together. I'm going to go to my Shape Builder tool. And the Shape Builder tool does two things. It, um, As you might have used it already, you can connect things and make them one object. But you can also hold down your Alt key and you can erase things. And this is what we're doing here. We're going to go through and we're going to erase all the parts that we don't actually want. So we can go around and get rid of all the parts that we don't want and keep just the parts that we do want to keep. So I'm going to go to here and I'm going to connect the parts that do want to keep and I'm going to erase the parts I don't want to keep. Now some parts of the shape, um, let's see what we got here. I'm going to get rid of this part. Oops, I deleted too much of that circle up here. You can always go um, and undo some steps to make sure that you don't lose parts that you actually want. Okay, and again here you could keep your, you could combine this or you could keep it separate. I'm going to keep it separate because of how I want to color in um, the different part, but I want this fin to be part of that shape, but I want the belly actually uh, to be a separate shape. So I'm going to make that a separate shape here and I'm going to get rid of these parts here. Okay, we're getting there. I keep this part separate, but I want to keep that as one piece. I actually want to make that all one piece here. So that's all one. I bring that in and that in. Okay, like this. Okay, so I've got main parts and I still am missing uh, parts here. I'm going to get rid of those extra bits that are floating around here. Now I still need to deal with the face. So again I'm going to use, I, I've got to click off this and now I can build some more shapes. So now I'm going to try and deal with the nose here. And again you want to make sure you either overlap or you touch exactly so that this actually works. And I'm going to move this again, make another copy of this to use the shape here. Um, use that there. There we go. And again, I'm going to select this together, take my shape builder tool, and I'm going to combine these pieces and I'm going to get rid of these pieces. And if you don't want them to have this bottle nose but more of a pointy nose, that's a, your call. Um, in this case, I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, now I still want an eye in here, so I'm going to take this and click off that the pointer tool. I'm going to take this here and bring it over, but to me that's too big, so I'm going to divide that because I want to stay with the golden ratio, so I'm going to divide that by 1.618. So I've got a small one and I'm going to color that black. 
So now I've got a black eye here for him. And I also want to put give him a smiley face. So I'm going to take my pen tool right there. And I'm going to start here and go in here. And now I'm going to pull it around a little bit. So now I've got a little smile for him as well. Escape. So I've got that. And now I want to, last thing I want to do is I want to color the uh, dolphin. So I'm going to bring in my color palette here. I'm going to, as he's a dolphin, I'm going to go with uh, shades of gray here. I'm going to go with a lighter gray for the body. And I was going to take the belly and make that a slightly darker shade. And the fin, I'm going to make that a darker shade as well. The back fin as well, the darker shade. So I'm pretty happy with that, but I lost my eye. So again, if I hold down my shift key to click, see if I can grab that. But I think I've lost somewhere hiding underneath here. So if I move this, there's my eye. I'm just going to move that over. Bring my body back to where it needs to be. And we're going to bring that to the front object. Arrange, bring to front. And now I've got my my eye back here. I can bring that oops, bring that back. There we go. Okay, so I've got my dolphin. So that's a, a relatively quick and you're gonna say, well that's a simple shape, how about a more complex one? Well what I did is before I uh, did that a couple of times and I added some text design. So here's a couple of versions of the same dolphin that I but as I was teaching myself how to use this tool. And here is a, a sketch of a monkey that I traced with a more complex shape. So you can see how a sketch can get simplified to that vector graphic. The advantage of this too is that if you later on you want to a silk screen or a vector graphic print that, this sketch obviously would not work. This is something that we could actually vinyl cut and put on a shirt. So it's just something to, to be aware of that you can, you can play with. So go to it and make your own.